No more newbie here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add 3D text on Share Factory. Make sure you watch until the end so you don't miss out on the bonus tips that will give your videos the edge when you add text to them. Plus, we have the shout out of the day. If you're a PS4 player making gaming videos on Share Factory, then this is a channel for you. So please do subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future videos like this. Okay, in Share Factory, we can go to videos or photos and new project, choose a theme, get rid of all the ticks apart from one and push square and then continue. And then we want to push the cross button to add screenshots. And then you can choose any screenshot you want, but we're gonna use solid color for these examples. And then we can just go across and get rid, push square, get rid of this spare clip that we don't need and delete. Once we've got that, then we can go into the settings. So if we push the cross button and go to settings, we can change the color using the hue and the saturation, but we can also just choose a color down the bottom, which is preset. So we're just gonna go onto black, and then we're gonna add our first word. And I've just added lots of screenshots for these examples. So you push the cross button, add the word, and we're gonna type in basics. And I'm just gonna show you very quickly the basics on add how to use the words so you can use push the square button and you can transform the words so you can move it around the screen wherever you want to look along the bottom and you can push um, l1 and uh, r1 to increase the size or l2 and r2 to move um, it around and twist it around and rotate so you can also use the square button to align so it goes middle left and right and then you've got other things that you can do as well using the word. So you can make sure you do change the duration of the word so that it stays on the screen for as long as you want it. Okay, once you've done that, we're gonna repeat that process. We're gonna add another word and you wanna get it at the same size as the first word. And the way you do that is when you get to the finer details, you can push, use a D-pad to make it exactly the same size. Once you've done that, you can change the color. So we've shown you how to do that already. So we're just gonna choose any color we want here. And the idea is once we've got the color that we want to, and generally it's gonna be different to the original color, um, we're gonna then just overlap it with the first word. So we're gonna, again, make it the same duration so that it lasts the same amount of time as the first word. Okay, so press transform and move the second word over the first word. And as long as it's not exactly matching it, then it's going to give a 3D effect and you can move it to left, right, up, down to wherever you want it. So it's just down to your own individual view on how you want it to look. Okay, moving on to the next one, we're going to go on to shadow effects. So you've got the first set of words which are black and then you choose any color you want for the second set of words and again just move it over the top to wherever you want it to look you can go more extreme so you can have it subtle like this or you can go more extreme and have it as a, a real big shadow at the back so again just move it around with a d-pad to get it exactly how you want it there are some problems that you might have with 3D text and I'll explain more about those and how to solve them at the end. So we're looking at three layer text now. So we've got three lines of the same words. The second line we've just changed to red and you're just gonna move that across the first word like we did before. And then we're gonna move the third line behind that one so that it gives a three layer effect. Now the font that we've chosen is quite thin, so it's only subtle on this one. So it could be the look that you're going for and that's perfectly fine. So we could do one more step on that and do a four layer. And if you choose black to go over the front, I think that gives a really effective um, style to your wording and is very simple to do so that's an option for you there okay so moving on when you start doing more layers then we need to learn how to layer so if we push the cross button you see the red text is at in front of the blue and the blue is in front of the white okay we're on the red text now and if we push the uh, square the square button and go into layer order you see at the bottom it says l1 and r1 if we push r1 once it straight away puts it behind the blue text okay then we can come out of it and we can move it to wherever we want using the transform button okay so we can go to transform move it and then it's you see it's in between it's now not first above the blue it's behind the blue if we go to layer order again we can push r1 again and it will move it behind the white so again we can come out of that go into transform and we can move the red to wherever we want it again and you can see we've moved it from 
the very front to the very back and that's how you layer the text when you are playing about with multiple layers which is quite useful to have okay so to take your 3d text one step further you can add an animation to it okay so what you do is push the cross button and push on edit overlays and text animation and then we you can see that we you have to be on the word that you want to animate first so we've got the animation up there and then what you can do is choose a beginning middle or end animation or a combination of all three okay then you can just choose whichever animation you want to add so they're all down the left hand column and if you're doing it to your 3d text you have to do this twice okay now you could be really inventive you could just do it exactly at the same time but you could be inventive and get the words coming in from different angles or fading in from different ways and so you can play about with this to get you how you want it but i've just done a basic uh, animation here just to give you an idea of how that will look so once you're happy and you've done both words then you can bus, uh, push the play button just let it play out and see how it looks and they just come in together from there okay shout out of the day goes to angel gamers so thanks so much for your support over all this time i really do appreciate it so anyone watching please do check out angel gamers and consider subscribing if you like his work okay so next step okay this is some of the problems i mentioned before that you can have when you're doing 3d text it might not always be that big so if you look at the top we've got fortnite first person in black okay and it kind of blends in a little bit to the background in white it is better okay but below we've done something that's a little bit better to make it stand out and we've gone into stickers and we've just chosen a sticker to make it stand out so you can see the Fortnite first person on the bottom left that's just words over the top of a sticker. and I've done it again with the circle here as a quick example I haven't done a 3d text on it but it's just to give you an idea you can do a background to make it stand out so there's and I'll talk a bit more about that in a second before that though what you could do is just add an outline to your text so if we go back to the shadow effect 3d text what you can do is go into text effects and go down to the effect that gives a black outline around your text and i think you'll find if you look at that that really does help it stand out so do consider that and do consider the different options of making it stand out on your video so it doesn't blur into the background so this final bit is some top tips on how to make your uh, 3d text just show up a little bit more and give you some more things if you look down the left hand side i've put backgrounds using general stickers in the overlays so i've got you know the speech bubbles there we've got a, a rectangular box we've got a tissue box we've got an arrow and they're all options for put in a background for your text just to give it a little bit more of an oomph and a bit of a you know stand out so as an example we've got this speech bubble here and you can just rotate it to however you want it to be increase the size once you've got it roughly how you want it you can put it up in the corner so you don't see the rest of the bits that you don't want to see and it gives kind of you know just a nice little background that you can use for you know when you want to say tip three or game number two or um you know chapter four or whatever it might be that you you're breaking up your videos using so i hope this has been useful if you have please do like and if you haven't already please do subscribe and turn on notifications if you've got any friends who use ps4 and share factory please let them know about my channel and ask them if they're interested to subscribe as well it would be really helpful and do check out my playlist i've got lots of share factory videos that i'm sure will help you out so thanks very much and bye